seem to have lost um, Duncan Ahemba there. We have a signal issue. Let us head over to Nerima, who's joining us via Skype. Nerima, I had asked earlier, um, Shiko Kihika, rather, the issue of the kind of nation, as young people, we will be inheriting, especially if you look at it uh, where it is currently. What are your thoughts on this? All right, we'll be getting um, Shiko in just, or rather Nerima in just a few seconds. Um, Josh, tell me. <laughs> oh, yeah, Machungu. All right, let's pick it up. Yeah. Machungu Iko. Now, Machungu ni real. Let me tell you, the young people in Kenya are pained and they are suffering. Mm -hmm. Lakini, the reason Bonae Machungu come every five years mm -hmm. is because it's my misdirected anger. Mm -hmm. So the thing is, if you're angry, you're angry at something. Mm -hmm. So you have two options, to be angry at something or to be angry at yourself. Mm -hmm. If you're angry at yourself, you get depressed. Mm -hmm. It's not a route any one of us wants to take. Mm -hmm. So you look for a third option, which is to be angry at whoever tells you be angry at person X mm -hmm. or be angry at person Y. Machungu ile kwa kwa youth wa Kenya ni tatu peke. Na ni machungu yenye ilikuwa kwa youth wa Kenya in 1963 na tuka embrace our founding fathers juu alisema watafaiti machungu. Wakasema watafight uh, ignorance, wakasema watafight disease, na wakasema watafight uh, umaskini. Umaskini, ugonjwa na ujinga. Mm. Those are the three illnesses plaguing us today and is why young people in Kenya will misdirect this anger to burn someone's shop, to fight, to do what, because these issues have been festering since 1963. You can imagine someone who's 20-something years old today, mm. their father wasn't young in 1963. They were just getting born. Is, these issues festered their father's generation and then their generation now. Yeah. This is built up anger over decades. Let's be honest. We keep singing the song as young people that we are the numbers, this is our nation, we'll inherit it. Mm -hmm. It's time for us as young people to pick up leadership. Truly, are we just as tribal as our fathers, as our grandparents? Uh, Hence why we're seeing that after every five year cycle, mm -hmm. there is, there's the issue of I cannot dine or be friends with my friends from these other communities that unless, until uh, my favorite candidate says something. Honestly, are we just as tribal as our, our fathers and our grandparents? Torres, what do you think? <laughs> I think that's a, that's a great question, Zinzi. But what, what I can say is this. You see, uh, according to me, Vinyamina Ona, like, you see, people from kindergarten, mm. nursery, to make up a moja, to kinder class, class one, back at eight, to make up a moja, to go to form four, akuna, akuna shule ukabila, mm. like, akuna shule at this, this tribe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and this tribe. Right. Tuka kuja university, UN, JQAT, and everything. Akuna university ya ukabila, you see. Yeah. So why is it that, saizi tukifika tuko wakubwa, tunakuwa tena, tunakuwa divided mm -hmm. into tribes. Right. So, mina jaribu kuona, sisi wenyewe ndio tuna accept, sisi kama mayuth. Mm -hmm. No, na? Tuna, tuna accept kutumika. Mm. In a way that, in a way that, uh, Josh, you know, as well, you didn't know, Liza uh, Josh. Uh, but wait a minute, let's not go back to Mika, Kosobabuya, Mutuflan. For someone else. For someone else. But right. see, we are not fighting for our own fight. Mm -hmm. We're not fighting for policy, healthcare, roads, no, no, education. No, 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 no. We are fighting for somebody else. Exactly why in Likwanda Kuliza is well. Easy political parties, Zetu Zime, for me, on the basis of ideologies and philosophies, Ama ni tribal. Story to your numbers. It's, it's, it's not even tribal. Mm -hmm. No one in Kenya founds a political party on the basis of tribe. Mm -hmm. You know what they do? Mm -hmm. They found a political party on the basis of a personality. Mm -hmm. Then around that personality, mm -hmm. they mobilize tribes. Okay. Mm -hmm. cool. So I found a party as person X, mm -hmm. then I mobilize my tribe, and then join with Zinzi, mm -hmm. with her tribe, mm -hmm. and then a person. You are asking if, is this ukabila ingrained in us? Mm -hmm. Let me tell you. When uh, Koitalela Rapsamoy started fighting the Nandi resistance mm -hmm. in Nandi, he wasn't tribal because as far as he was concerned, Kenya was Nandi. He was fighting for freedom in Nandi. When Harituku was doing it in Nairobi, mm -hmm. it was more national because in Nairobi was a cosmopolitan place. True. But these guys were not tribal yet mm -hmm. until the white colonists re realized the easiest way to fight mm -hmm. this resistance is to divide them along tribal lines. Mm -hmm. Divide and rule is a concept see what it will scare to kiwa, high school, yeah. wherever. Yeah. Now, what happened is whoever took over power, particularly after the independence, of, after the second liberation movement, they realized we can actually 
amass and contain power through these tribal lines. Mm. I'll give you an example. In the mid-90s, there was the Ufangaman, Ufangamano movement, mm -hmm. which was a coming together of the church and civil society right. to ask for legal reform in Kenya. So it was the first clamor for constitutional reform, even before we had green, yellow, orange, all these colors we have now. On that movement alone, you had the likes of David Alamba, Kefta Ombati, all these people who came together and the youth in Kenya were looking at them. People were being called to Saba Saba and they were not going along party lines. Mm -hmm. They were going as Kenyan youth who were demanding for change and reform. And, and, uh -huh. and what happened, what was the reaction to that by the politicians? The politicians, you know back then, as a Kanu, for example, member of parliament, right. it was almost a death sentence to fraternize with members from the opposition. But against that threat of a united Kenya for reform, the opposition and Kanu came together to form IPPG. And they said, we just need minimal reforms until we get to the 1997 election so that we can move forward with life. Right. So the thing is, the reason why the youth are not together is because the politicians know if the youth come together as one voice and address issues and policy, mm. they're out. Wow. Josh, honestly, that is a fantastic point. What would happen if the young people came in um, collect collectively? Um, we have Hussein, who, who, who is joining us in Kisumu. Um, Hussein is in Kisumu, and Hussein, allow me to just engage with you just a little bit. Um, if, if, or rather, Ali. Ali is joining us from Kisumu. Ali, we are really having a conversation here on the issue of tribalism as young people. What do you think? Do you think that we have inherited tribalism from our fathers and our great-grandfathers? Uh, what do you think, honestly speaking? Okay, mi kitu naweza kusema kwa jina naitwa Morris Ali. Ukabila imeletwa na viongozi. Unaona? Vijana wenyewe sisi wenyewe penye tunakaa tuna grow sisi hatuji ukabila. Ni ile viongozi zetu au maleaders wetu ndio wako na tabia kama hizi. Wakikuja tuseme kama saa hizi vile tume tulipiga kura hiyo mwezi zilizopita mwezi wa 8 hadi saa ni 2 months. Unaona? Vijana wanafanya kazi mingi kabisa mtaani gate tunapata mwingine na hustle sana ila apate vile anaweza kujisaidia na mtu wake aende anakuja kusaulika baadaye umesikia sasa ukabila yenyewe viongozi ndio wanaianza jina ingi, inaingia kwa vijana mtaani hapa ikishaingia ndio atajua ule ni nani na huyu ni nani hapo ndio kelele inaanza sasa uchuki chuki linaingia kati ya vijana ndio inaleta ukabila lakini sisi wenyewe mtaani hata mimi ile duka mimi naenda na duka naenda kwa duka sio ya mjaluo kama mimi naenda kwa duka ya mkikuyu umesikia lakini sasa zile vitu imeanza anaona tu hata mimi sitakuwa na e karibu sasa anajifunga naenda unaona yeah, yeah. Uh, all right ali uh, let me engage you um, just a little bit further on the on on this on that issue but we'll come back to ali yeah. um ali will come back to you in just a few minutes but right now let's cross over to uh, duncan haemba our senior political reporter he joins us from cia haemba yes you were mentioning earlier um the issue that young people have right now um it's it's paused after um chebukati made his announcement what more can you tell us <laughs> Yes, Zinzi, as I was mentioning, of course, that announcement is a sigh of relief, not only to them here, but I think for the country at large, because uh, the scenes that were being witnessed in Kisumu, Siaya, Homa Bay, and Migori is uh, not what anybody would have wanted to see, particularly in the uh, light of uh, how things had shaped up in that they had communicated. Those who want to vote, they should vote. Those who would not want to vote, they should not do so. But now, in the aftermath of the events that unfolded, definitely that cancellation or the postponement of that particular exercise is a big sigh of relief. But I'll talk to uh, some of the youth here. Are you worried at uh, the rate at which or the state of affairs in the country? Because uh, we now seem to have a nation that is divided. Uh, the nation is divided and it's divided halfway. I'm worried as a youth. I'm really worried. If this nation should return to the normal, then Mr. Huru Kenyatta and Mr. Raila Odinga should put the interest of this nation first. Are you worried about, the, yes, yes, worried about yes, the state yes. of the nation? There are those that have a feeling that the nation is divided. Uh, okay, the nation is already divided just because of some selfishness among our leaders. 
We are just glad to say that in Siaya or in Nyanza, we are proudly saying that no Raila, no elections. Maybe finally, as I worried about the state of affairs, the nation seems to be divided. Ile kitu ambayo inafanyika hapa Kenya, si tunangependa kusema la kwamba viongozi wetu wakae chini waonge. Wana tuumiza sisi kama upande wa business, kama youth forums, si ndio tunaumia. Tafadhali tumeomba la kwamba Raila Molo Dinga kama rais wa Republic wakae chini waonge. Ili uchaguzi we mwezi wa Januari. Na sana. Finally, what is the way forward? This is the camera. You have to look at this direction. What is the way forward? What is the way forward? Yes, yes. Uh, uh, talking to you from say uh, county referral, especially in Alego Usonga, the sub county. First, before I can give the way forward, I must say I'm a quarter sub countyship. I'm I stay currently in Alego Usonga where we are right now. I'm asking I you about the state of the nation. I'm giving that, you, I'm giving yes, that. Yes, we don't have time, we need to handle. Okay, okay, thank you very much. Uh, very good evening back in studio. I must say the state of this nation as we speak now is actually not granted at any party. It's a divided country. There's no peace. And as it was said before, if there cannot be justice for the nation, there can never be peace for the government. One request I have for the government. We are all Kenyans. What we need to do is not police brutality, but at this point we need to come together because before... So we will come back to Duncan Khayamba at uh, in CIA, as you have seen talking him talking to a bunch of youth saying Raila Odinga and Uhuru Kenyatta need to come together um, and, and the issue of us being divided as young people. Very quickly, Torres, what are your thoughts on that conversation? I think these guys, uh, they're just saying the same thing that we are saying, me and my brother here, Josh, mm -hmm. because we, we, really, we are really urging, no, no, we are really urging the, 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 the leaders, the two leaders, for now, there are only those two leaders who can help us. This is uh, the president and uh, right honorable mm. uh, Raila Amol Odinga to come up together. Because Mimi come up to a slum, you see? Mimi come up to a ghetto. We are really suffering in the slums. Yeah. You see, like in the dump site, people stay like brothers. Mm. And there's no tribalism in that dump site. Mimi ni meka kwa slum, ni meka kwa dump site. Sijai yona, even in the streets, ni meka chokoch. Sijai yona ile... So we are just requesting. Kuna wale mamamboga, wanateseka pia. Nota tukirudi, tarudi na your point. Najua lazima tuende break, lakini kama unataka kuendelea hii conversation, tuendelea hapo hivyo social media platform zetu, at KTN News, at Brian underscore Sally, at Zizi underscore K. Lazima tuende break, tukirudi, bado hii conversation inaendelea.